Hey friends, so today I am making this video as a guide to cover the common and common problems I see that are keeping lower players stuck in their rank. These are three main points for escaping low elo. Number one, uh, number one mechanics are everything. Things separating high elo and low elo veteran players is mechanics. You could be branded constantly, take bad fights and never play with your team. But if you had immortal level mechanics, you would win almost every game. You need to win. The four, the four mechanics you should be paying the most attention to are your aim, crosshair placement, peaking. The best place to practice these mechanics inside the game, such as the range, death match, and uh, did match and TDMs team did match. Let's start off with M Before competitive playing you need to playing about 10 minutes range Like this Left board and right board left right right left right left right left you're playing about 10 minutes like this you can practice in range like this left right fire left right fire about three minutes to five minutes saying i'm not an expert m trainer but if you are never to FPS game, then you likely don't have any good mouse control. I believe this. Where aim trainers have the most effective playing 30 minutes of M lab each day. Isolates the skills of controlling your mouse. During my early days in Valorant, I only played great shot, but I wo I would not recommend that. I would recommend playing the range, death match and TDM before play before playing competitive. Now second thing is very important. Uh, second thing is counter strafing. Counter strafing is important while aiming. Don't spray just left right and fire like this i believe this to be the best place to practice all your mechanics when playing this match i will recommend you to use your man gun so the vandal phantom or the sheriff and put all of your focus on having perfect crosshair placement and perfect peaks this match uses the same map as your competitive games which means you get to learn all of the common angles and spots on these maps if you play this match with 100% focus on your cross shell placement and peaks that going to translate into the real games and you are going to find yourself being able to frag out much better you are also going to improve your aim since you are constantly getting into gunfights and having to practice your mouse control and you are also going to gain a better understanding of how to control your gun and start to stand when it's best to brush, spray or tap. I would say good ratio of deathmatch to competitive games is 1 to 1. So if you played 6 competitive games in a day, you should also have played 6 death match that day. Multiple times you likely made, made many hug mistakes and you probably played versus enemies who are better than you. You get given 10 times maybe even hundreds of data points. Pointing out the flaws in your game play and you are spend your limit energy to blame other people instead of using that energy to analyze the faults in your game play and improve it does not make sense it it's not flashy 
it's doing the same thing over and over again for a long time this means choosing one gun either the vandal or phantom and sticking with it with it is it this mean picking one or two agents that are similar to each other and sticking with choose this means choosing good setting and sticking with them every game by keeping these variables constant it means you can focus on the high impact skill such as your mechanics and decision making all of your focus needs to be uh, the f needs to be on the fundamental of veteran who are bored and <clears throat> who are bored and not taking rank seriously and to the people trying to make flick montage for tiktok if you are serious about improving for practice the fundamental every the fundamental every day for weeks at the time and you will be shocked at how fast you improve on stopping brand and start focusing on what really matters if you like the video you can subscribe and share with your friends enjoy you are also going to you improve your aim since you are constantly getting into gun fights and having to practice your mouse control and you are also going to gain a better understanding of how to control your gun and start to stand when it's best to brust spray or tap i would say good ratio of death match to competitive games is 1 to 1 So if you played 6 competitive games in a day you should also have played 6 did match that day multiple time you likely made made many hug mistakes and you probably played for the enemies who are better than you you get given 10 tens maybe even hundreds of rate of points pointing out the flaws in your game play and you are spend your limit energy to blame other people instead of using that energy to analyze the faults in your game play and improve it does not make sense it it's not flashy it's doing the same thing over and over again for a long time this means choosing one gun either the vandal or phantom and sticking with it with it is it this mean picking one or two agents that are similar to each other and sticking with 